What's happening fellow fixers? I'm Jeremy. I'm a fixer. Today's video is a follow-up to the video on how to build a 12-foot gate that won't sag. And I'm going to talk about why I used a 4x4 post and why you probably shouldn't. Alright, so if you remember the video on building the gate, I built a 12-foot gate using uh, cedar 2x4s and then these fence pickets. And if you remember in that video, I used a 4x4 post. Alright, so here's the thing. You probably should not use a 4x4 post for a 12-foot gate. Now, the reason I got away with it was twofold. One, I already had a 4x4 post sunk on the other side. Two, I used concrete, uh, entire bag of concrete on all of my fence posts that I put. So, that's critical if you're going to use a 4x4 post for your 12 foot gate. But secondly, if you notice right here, I have a two by four strapped to the concrete wall. And whenever you're looking at a gate that's this size, the biggest thing is the sheer amount of weight that sits over here, wanting to pull that post towards the middle of your gate. But what I've done is because I have this two by four that's attached, I put another 2x4 right at the very top. This 2x4 at the top is basically going to be counteracting the weight that's going to be trying to pull that post over. So not only do I have concrete in the ground, but I have this 2x4 that should help to pull it that way. On the other side of this post is an existing post. And notice how it's been strapped from the top all the way down to the bottom of that second post. And both of these are concreted in. But what's going to happen is, again, that gate is going to try to pull that post that way. Well, this large lag bolt is going to prevent it. It's going to uh, hold it and keep it from going that direction. It just can't because it's through bolted all the way to the other side. A couple other follow-ups that I didn't really touch on in the last video. I put this bar um, on this gate and notice what I did was I drove a piece of three quarter inch PVC into the ground. That way, I always have something clean to put my stop bar into that's not gonna move. Originally, I put it into just straight into the ground and on a strong windy day, it actually pushed that post. But ever since I drove this PVC into the ground, I have not had that problem. If I was building this gate from scratch, your best bet would be to use a six by six post and drive it deep. Have about three feet or so, maybe even four feet of that into the ground and then put concrete around that. That's gonna have a very strong base and still strap it along the top if you can in some way. Again, I was basically taking an eight foot gate and making it 12 foot. And so I really just did not want to have to rip out that other post and uh, drive another six by six over there and here and dig out the concrete in both. So I just went ahead and used a four by four post. That's why I say if you're gonna build a gate from scratch, go with six by sixes, it's gonna be that much stronger and definitely use cedar for your frame. It's gonna make it a whole lot lighter. That's my reason why I used a four by four post and why I think you should use a six by six. If you haven't seen the video on how I built this gate, go check it out, I'll see you over there. Or you could go over here and uh, check out this other video that I think you're gonna like.